So, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Um, so Spotify has developed a technology that scans for copyright infringement. Um, this technology is meant to be uh, a similar, it's meant to be used in a similar way as YouTube's copyright detection software, whatever they use. That when I've, I've had some videos taken down for copyright within a minute or less of them being uploaded. And um, there's certain people who've gotten copyright strikes for having maybe 15 seconds of a song in in their video and it gets taken down or the or the uh, record label Universal Music Group or whatever will come in and um, take your ad revenue. So already off the bat, it already makes it just it already makes me nervous thinking about this, because what this can end up doing is it can end up skewing in favor of more developed artists and there's already been stories and reports about um people buying off um spotify or, do or giving money to spotify for more airtime or to have themselves plastered all over the um all over the the playlist when you make a when you randomize your playlist and all of a sudden drake is just all up and down your playlist or billy eilish is all up and down your playlist or whoever and newer artists coming into the music industry end up having a harder time and in a way this is almost reverting back to how it was before we had platforms like spotify and soundcloud soundcloud spotify and the rest were meant to take away that gatekeeping effect of the music industry to where more people could make it in the industry without having to to sell your soul away or go through the traditional people in order to get somewhere and if those people don't like you they can just erase you from existence and so it was meant to take away that gatekeeping but over time they've started to put those gates back up and in place but just in a different way so let's read a little bit about this it says uh, Spotify is reportedly in the market to protect songwriters with a new feature on Tuesday. Music Business Worldwide reported the platform has filed for a patent on um, on plagiarism risk detection and interface, which would detect plagiarism on its platform. The filing explains the technology will test a lead a lead sheet, I mean a lead sheet for plagiarism, comparing the comp composition in question to all the other songs on the platform lead sheets denote songs um, melodies chords as well as lyrics the software could you could also calculate a similarity value of songs in comparison to others now people a lot of artists use um samples so what are, what are they going to do about sampling? If you haven't, if uh, people already pay for samples of songs, what are you, what are you going to do if you pay for a sample, you put it out there, you put your song out there and all of a sudden this detection technology is like, oh, alert, alert. Oh, they've, they've completely stolen your song and maybe you lose revenue or, or you get just you get your song taken down and they don't allow it to be played. What, like what happens after that? Like my brother, he, he's an artist and he has songs on Spotify and I know he's sampled songs before. So what happens in those situations? Those are just questions I got. Um, Spotify named previously pl plagiarism detection technologies in the fi in, fi ugh, in the filing, like the new music plagiarism detection system and audio forensic me meets music information. OK, let's see. According to the filing, Spotify believes these technologies are significant improvements over manual op manual approaches they still require significant expertise and are not suited for operation by typical artists and composers especially artists and composers who are interested in detecting plagiarism during the composition process um in order to rectify the disconnect spotify proposes it, spotify is proposing a graphical user interface that provides visual feedback in real time for artists such as uh, a tool that would help artists to generate lead sheets more quickly and confidently the patent filing reads by detecting and providing visual feedback as to whether any aspect of the work has a probability of being deemed plagiaristic so yeah that was the end of it 
So uh, this user interface, I would like to know more about that. Like, can everybody use this user interface? Is it supposed to help you not cop, not plagiarize somebody else's work? Or, or like, how does this work? I, I just need a little bit more explanation without the weird, like the wording. It's like you read and you have to read it multiple times to see what it's under, what it's saying. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just not getting what it's saying, but other people might get what it's saying. Um, but I just, I'm trying to figure out like what this, can anybody use this user interface? Um, but, but anyway, that's what I feel about it. I just, I just can see this already becoming a problem, you know, just like how it has on YouTube. Um, it just don't want it to skew toward already established figures and artists because that defeats the whole point of the platform because these platforms have just become money money grabbers okay they just want money they're not meant to promote growth of of um newer individuals it's just hey you got a set group that's you know bringing in the bank and the listeners and maybe they don't you know looks like they want their art to be kept to them you know maybe people don't want to be have their stuff sampled whatever whatever you know um oh you used a few of the lyrics that i used like like what it, whatever the issue is that's those people will seem to have their needs met first already established artists backed by huge record labels will seem to have their needs met first um and that's what should not happen that, that can't happen and that's what I worry about with the a, a, with the uh, a detection technology like this, because same thing goes on on YouTube. The copyright stuff is off the charts with music. The main thing is music. These record labels just go through and uh, they they like they claim everything. <laughs> they will claim everything, even though they already have millions and billions of dollars. They will claim some random person's ad revenue if they can you got two 20 seconds 15 seconds of um of um of a song that one of your um label artists is you know one of their songs and somebody puts it in their video and all of a sudden claim yeah we'll take all this revenue you already have revenue you already have money why do you need to claim some random person's ad revenue that they're probably youtube is probably their job and they're trying to survive and now they have to have all these extra sites to make money because you want to claim all their ad revenue youtube wants to limit the algorithm wants to change the algorithm to limit exposure for a lot of people that's that's what's going on and that's that's the it makes you feel powerless because you're up against a humongous machine these humongous companies and they're able to run rough shot and determine who succeeds and who fails and people people use the argument well that's their company they have the right to these companies are big enough to the point are big enough now to the point where they become public squares they're like a place of communication and discourse for everybody and in some ways they can determine whether you exist or not in this current day and age like, for example, with Alex Jones, he's completely wiped off of everything. Like, I know you can you can disagree with his views or whatnot, but the man basically doesn't exist on social media anymore. And he's been pushed all the way into his own corner. And he has his I know he has his own app or, or whatnot. Maybe he has his own website. Not even sure. I don't really keep up with him anymore. Um, I, So like stuff like that. It, you can eliminate somebody's whole existence because you might not like what they post or might not like what they say. That's my problem. That's my problem. So, um, yeah, let's not have that happen with this Spotify. Okay. Thank you very much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, comment, subscribe, like, whenever you do it, have to do it, wherever you do it, just do it. It's your boy Red X Black and I'm out.